hello guys welcome back in this video i will be telling you one of the most important question of pi spark which, which was asked in tech mahindra interview so i got this question from the linkedin source this is not my question okay so the question is that you know uh, we have to suppose that a website contain two tables the customer table and the order table and write a pi spark data frame query to find all customer who have never order anything okay so you know i have just created a data frame you know just 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 for this uh, use case or just just for this question so the question uh, the data frame look like this we have customer id and uh, customer name you can see this is one my name second id some other name and so on so on and this is the order data frame okay and we, here we have order id here we might have uh, you know a uh, order name also or we can see the product name you know which uh, which product uh, uh, has has been ordered right and here we have some customer id so it means see customer id 4 and 2 so what it means that 4 means kim kim has ordered something that's why we have an entry in this table right we have entry order id 1 so this is cuz i mean this customer is the first person who has you know taken this likewise we have another customer you know what was that two so two means alex so alex has has ordered something so that you know the order id is three i need to find out the one which is customer id one and customer id three means saga and alex john i mean uh, uh, sorry saga and john right i i i need to get these two uh, customer name from our query so how we can write the code so let's see cool so what i'll do here i'll create now you know that we have two data frame we have to join right so i can write here df dot underscore customer dot join method right and then here i need to add any any other data frame which i need to join cool now in the second parameter i need to write the joining condition okay on which key we want to join now you can see you we can easily see that we have customer id customer id both in common so i can write you know custom on basis of customer id only so this dot customer customer id so i have to actually you know copy this as it is so that it won't fail let me confirm whether we have correct format or not. right is equal to is equal to df underscore order dot again customer id right and in the third parameter we have to define how i mean how how we wanna join these two data frames so i have to put here left join so i can write like this okay left now just do a display of df here you will see that we have customer id customer name order id customer id right now you can see for the id customer id 4 right we have some value in the left table also and likewise for customer id 2 we have some values because because this id 2 was present in the order id table right so that's why we have this 2 2 but you can see we do not have any entry for customer id 1 and customer id 3 so what i need to find out the customer who have never order anything so what i can do i can go and check where customer id i mean i i can check in this table right where the ID, customer id is null or maybe or we can go with the order id also okay so here i will put the condition filter right and make sure from which table you need to get the column name so if you are using customer id right so make sure that we will use with with the second data frame that is df underscore order dot this cool and is null whenever it is null i'll just get that output now you will see that we will have here two things two rows right saga and john now i want to only get the customer name so what i can do i can just write here select and uh, df underscore customer dot jo oh 
कस्टमर अंडर स्कोर नेम कूल इट वर्क्स राइट सो दिस इज अ वे हाउ वी कैन यू नो सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम लाइक दिस इज वेरी बेसिक प्रॉब्लम ओके दैट्स नॉट अ वेरी बिग प्रॉब्लम यू माइट हैव सॉल्व द सेम क्वेश्चन इन सीक्वल राइट नाउ इफ यू आर लविंग दिस दिस कोर्सेज दिस प्ले लिस्ट राइट I have prepared something extra, something uniquely in this course. This is my course, Data Big Spy Spark Real Time Scenario Interview Questions. Here you will be seeing. Till now, I have uploaded four hours of content. Here you can see twenty-three sessions are there. So first module is like you know, I have uh, solved the problem using CSV files. Three problems are there, and in the in the miscellaneous interview question, there are around seven sections. Se sessions you can see how the Uh, solve the question using broadcast variable. This is kind of scenario based. How to optimize the PySpark data uh, UDF, right? And then we have you know call data frame in another notebook, real time scenario question, cache and persist, and so so so. Likewise, we have a Python and PySpark framework. Okay, I have some videos over here. Unit testing. How we can do a unit testing in PySpark? What is the framework to validate the schema and other stuff? We have it. Then we have problem solving questions. Here we have till now two. I will be including more questions. See in this course, since this is a paid course, so here they are not a very basic question. You know this question is quite basic, right? So I am not uploading these kind of question in this course because you you are paying to me, right? So this is the reason. Maybe you know it will take more time to update uh, this uh, uh, this. Uh, Course because you know I am finding out the or I I am sometimes I I make my own uh, data set or problem and then I upload it. Okay, I hope that you have understood and you have loved this video. If you want, you can take this course. It's a very affordable price, right? Thank you. Bye bye.